Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is What the Mukbang, and um, it's a channel where I could eat, obviously, do a little mukbang, and tell you guys a little bit about me. First video is sort of like introduction. Anyways, let's stop being boring, and we're just gonna dig right into it. And you know what? This is my first ever mukbang, ever. So, and I'm about to break my mukbang cherry with some seafood. Look at these shrimps, look at this, oh my goodness. Hella big ass shrimp, yo. And of course, crab legs, colossal crab legs at that. Let's get started. Oh wait, 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 no, you know what? I got some homemade uh, chili dipping sauce. That's the good good. Let's get it started. Okay, first of all, I think I'm gonna start off with a shrimp, a big one. Look how bouncy and big that is. Oh my. I don't know what kind of shrimp these are. They're just huge ass shrimp. <laughs> my favorite. I love seafood. It's the best thing. I could go on a seafood diet. It's, it's really expensive, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's really expensive. Of course, you gotta dip that B. Look, I gotta dip it. Oh, and this is just me. Ain't nobody else. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm. It was spicy. But good. That's garlic spice. And this shrimp so meaty. Mmm sweet you know how shrimp tastes it's just that times 10 because it's so big it's really good y'all mm -mm. <laughs> mm. anyways <laughs> A little bit about me. I'm obviously limp wrist. <laughs> if y'all can tell. I do have my nipples pierced. Sorry. <laughs> um, what else? I was born into a big family. Six sisters, one younger brother, and we all get along pretty much. My parents both passed away. I feel you know, that's, that's taught me a lot. I do miss them every day. I know, I know, yes. I'm really sad. Uh, let's go for the crab leg here. Oh my goodness, look at that fang. Look at that fang! It probably lifts more than I do. <laughs> oh. People always forget that there's meat up in, up in this beat. And I always start out with that end anyways. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at it flake right off. Oh girl. Oh girl, look. It's going in. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Good stuff. That's really good. Mm. If y'all don't know how to open these, there's two knuckles, three knuckles actually. One, two, three. And you just start off cracking that, sliding that bone off or whatever it is. Cartilage. And these are already cracked for you, so. And there's Oh, judge. They're spiky as hell. And they hurt. But it's all worth it. Oh, girl. Look at this. Look at that. That's all meat. I love my meat, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta show you the dip. Oh, that dip it. This thing is. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Delicious. 
Oh yeah, where are we at? You know, a little bit about me. I I'm single as hell, as you know. So if y'all know any hookups, you know, trying to not nah, hookups. I don't do hookups, baby girl. I don't do hookups. That's the thing. I'm still a virgin, and I'm proud of it. You know, but but if you know anybody that you know want to holler at me, drop me a drop me a comment and tell me what's up. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, um, what else? What other things do you guys want to know? You guys probably don't know anything about me. Unless you follow my Instagram at pawn71787. Pawn, like pawn shop. No space, 71787. My birthday. Yes, I just turned 33. Could you believe that? And I tell people every year, every year, that it's my golden birthday. So I'll be turning 17 every year. Isn't that crazy? It just makes you feel better about yourself. But in reality, I'm 33 year old virgin. Isn't that? <laughs> oh, that's a little sad. But you know what? These shrimps will cheer me right up, baby girl. Look at this. Oh, I, I love this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Really, really good. <laughs> Double dip, triple dip, baby girl. This is mine. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Um, you know what? Actually, we could talk about we could talk about my coming out experience. Let's just say that I. So I've, you know, growing up at a young age, you, you know, you're different. You know, you're, you know, you like what you're into at a young age. Well, at least for me, at least, you know, and some people think they could correct it, you know, but no, we were born this way, period. And um, I could remember in kindergarten when we were, I had a bunch of girlfriends, like uh, friends that were ladies girls at the time and um yeah it's just we just connected we talked I still talk to all my girlfriends like we talk 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 because you know baby girl I could talk <laughs> but yes um I realized right around like when we started learning about the birds and the bees in first grade no not in first grade that's way too young people be horny as hell um fourth grade we started talking about it. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm different. I'm different. I'm I'm gay. <laughs> Let's just say that. You know, I am. And then uh, you know, you there's a comes a point in your life where you're like, you're trying to hide it. Do I try to hide it? Do I, do I try to be masculine as hell? You know, like, hey, hey, what's up? You know, I could kick a ball too, shoot. I could throw a ball, shoot too, and make touchdowns and stuff like that. But no, nah, that wasn't for me. Baby girl, you couldn't hide this. You couldn't hide this limp wrist. Look at that. But I know. Um, so anyways, that's when I found out. You know, I, I didn't find out. I sort of wanted to explore it a little bit more. And it's like, at that time, it's like, do I want to keep this hidden? Or do I want to be me? Baby girl, I decided to be me. Because ain't nobody in my way. I, I know this better now than before. That it's like... Really, who are you if you're not yourself? You know, does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness, big bite. <laughs> Look at this thing. Anyways. Who are you if you can't be yourself? And when it comes came down to it, I'm like this. I'm not. I can't hide this from anybody. But at these, but at the end of the day, you know what? You can't really hide this. You can't hide this from anybody. It's just the way you are. And if they don't like it, they don't have to be a part of it. Bye, bye. <laughs> you know, I I ain't begging you to stay. I am begging you to approve of me. Just, I'm not here to preach either. I'm just like, 
You do or you don't. And you know what? A lot of people like me. I really don't get the hate. It doesn't make sense in the first place, but, you know. But I'm easy to get along with. Um, I barely hold any grudges unless, you know, come for me and then I have to send for you. But that's just, you know, that's a, another story, another mukbang. So, anyways, yeah, I decided to be open as much as I could, you know. But then kids were very, very like, they almost like had that question like, is Pond gay? Is he gay? Oh yeah, look at the way he runs. Oh yeah, look at the way he throws a ball. I know how to handle a ball, balls, period. And yeah, going through high school. All the way to high school was the first time I actually came out to my family. And we were on a vacation. We went to a vacation um, trip to Kansas to visit my cousins. And at that time I had told them, you know, <clears throat> You know, we were all in a room, it was just, it's my cousins, my brother, and um, I was, I think I was 15 at the time, 15, and I was like, really serious, I'm never, re I'm never really serious, like, I'm, I'm pretty laid back, pretty chill, I joke around, I have a great sense of humor, hit me up, drop, a, drop your, you know, number, if, if you want some of this, but anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, and then I just got very serious, told them what's up, like, hey guys, um, I'm gay. And everybody's like, what? You know? And then most of my family knew, they were just like, oh, Pond, we knew. Mom and dad know, you know? And I was like, really? Oh, I try to hide it, you know? But of course you can't hide anything from family. They know everything. They know all your closets, all your skeletons. You family, you know. You know, but like, and I remember my my niece, who was the same age as I was. We have a really big family, a bunch of kids, and um, my niece, who I was close, really close at the time, she sort of took a step back and was like, "I don't know you anymore." You know, we used to be like this. We used to be the Gemini twins, period. But and then she's like, "I don't know you anymore." You know, and I was like, "What are you talking about? I could, you know, you and me could find a boyfriend together." That's it. And then she sort it sort of clicked, and she's like, "Wait, I do know you now. I know you on a better level." And then she sort of was like hesitant at first, but then she was like, "Oh, I'm fine with it. You know, I'll survive." I was like, "Yeah, you better, girl." <laughs> Anyways, that's how I came out to my family, and ever since that, it was just it was a bunch of weight just pulled off your shoulder. You're just like, "Oh my goodness, I'm living." how I want to live. I feel like, you know, I still need to find love, but I know what's out there somewhere, baby girl. I know what's out there somewhere. <laughs> so <clears throat> it was probably like during like sophomore year, I told my family, came out, it was good, it was great. That summer was fun. Everybody started exploring. I started exploring, I'm like, ooh, you know, what kind of guys am I into? What kind of, I'm into the bear types, you know the big husky bear types and every time I tell somebody you know I'm gay whatever whatever some guys step back and they're like wait is he gonna hit on me I'm like no I have a type baby girl I have a type that's my type no no it's not like that <laughs> it is um yeah everybody has a type it's not like you're gonna hit on everybody you see like if you're if I was a straight guy do I hit on every girl I see no no, period, I don't. Everybody has a type. I feel like my type is, um, yeah, like I said, it's bear and cubs. Holla at me. Uh, I'm a, definitely a chaser. <laughs> Single as hell. Yeah. So it came out to my family. That was pretty fun. And coming out to my friends was um, a little bit, the same, sort of the same way they sort of knew. They knew me already, you know. Ain't nobody um, could fake a limp wrist, like I said. Look. <laughs> um, this is a weak ass 
claw anyways look so that's a little claw for the size of this leg oh my goodness but anyways that's how I came out and came coming out to my friends it was easy too some friends didn't weren't like as oh my goodness like accepting but my family all accepting my friends I lost a few you know along the years but you know we're okay now we're human it's good mm. and then yeah I couldn't imagine going through this without my family they're like the biggest support I ever have have had and um, they continue to support me and I love them for it we're really close by the way really close mm. shout out to my family <laughs> What are other? Hey. So, <laughs> um, okay. Have I ever been on any dates? Um, I've been on a few dates. You know, they were good. All good. My dates were all good. I feel like there was never a date that went bad or crazy yet, but they're still, everybody's nice, polite, of course, and, um, yeah sometimes but i i really don't talk to any of my dates anymore we don't really stay connected we're not friends friends but let me just tell you the dating world is scary as hell especially if you're 33. <laughs> if you're like me and you're trying to date i don't know I don't know how everybody anybody does it. It's scary. So, yeah, I'm on all these apps. You know, all of them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, swipe right. <laughs> I haven't gone on a date in a long time, though. It's been a while. Stupid COVID. Mm -mm. COVID would be messing everything up. 2020 down the drain. We ain't got no. But you know what? I have hope. I have a lot of hope. Maybe too much. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at <laughs> Yeah, what else about me? Um, I don't know. I like to sing. I don't know if I'm any good at it or whatever, but I do like to sing. Okay, what could I, what could I sing? <clears throat> oh, I'm a big, big Beyonce fan. I love Beyonce. She is the queen bee. Hey, love. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god, I got my eye. Ooh. <laughs> that video crack me up, girl. Mm -mm, you did good, though. You did good. I'd probably do the same thing. I'd be like, uh uh. Sorry, B. I cannot sing as good as you, but. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. I like to do origami. Origami? No, not orgasm. Origami. It's the art of folding paper. Look at that. That's on my desk. Mm-hmm. Cute, right? That's from paper. I follow all these YouTubers that do origami and I I just get it. I guess art comes naturally to me. It's that easy, it's that easy. <laughs> oh, I paint, I um, picked up painting recently. I'm, I'm okay at it, I'm, I might. I'm pretty good or whatever. I still follow the YouTube videos. That's another thing. You just gotta keep yourself busy. And during this COVID times, like I feel I feel like that's the best thing you could do is keep busy. I mean, within your own limits, you're like, 
you know, pick up hobbies, things that take your time up, start painting, cooking. Oh, I'm always be in for it. I forever be in the kitchen cooking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I love me a man's hookah cooks. But you know, I would love, I wouldn't mind dating myself here then. I'm, I don't want to be too into myself, but baby girl, baby girl, <laughs> I could cook, I could, what? I could be romantic, I think, you know, I could eat, sort of, I could eat, I got breasts. <laughs> Anyways, here's one of my paintings that I did from online. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I see you, isn't that cute? Yeah, that's from um, WOW Art. Amazing stuff. Amazing, amazing work. But anyways, what else? What else can I do? I, I think I'm also talented. I'm just kidding. Okay, you know what? I need to calm down. I need to calm the F down. I'm not that good. I'm all right. I'm not that good. Um, oh, yeah, I need to tackle one of these legs, though. That's what I need to do. I need to tackle. Look at this beast. Look at this beast. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, girl, that knuckle. Get that little knuckle. It, sometimes there's meat in there, but it'd be weird meat. It's not. <laughs> it's not like one of these leg meats. It's like I don't know if it's meat. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's at the top of a claw too. It's like what kind of meat is that? Ow, ouch. Isn't that scary when your food could cut you? Look at it. Oh, girl. Oh, I'm about to take this thing whole. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Girl, it's gone. Oh, I need to calm down. Calm the F down. Oh, girl. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I do that a lot, too. I be clicking my tongues. Anyways, dip, 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 dip. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Look away, look away. <laughs> I got that cartilage. <laughs> oh my goodness, I about died. Wouldn't that be something? Be choking out, Ugh, choking. Oh, that was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That real good. I got these at Sam's Club. The last bag too. Now, I remember that day we went to go get it, and they were just like, "Um, this is the last bag." I'm like, for real? I'm gonna get three legs, but you know what? Three is plenty. Look at me. I can barely finish this. Oh girl, oh girl, work, work. Get that work. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that knuckle. I don't want to play bloody knuckles with it. Oh dang, car, calm down. I don't want to play bloody knuckles with this. Look at that. I'll be bleeding like hell. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta show y'all the dip though. You know, because I ain't scared of the I ain't no Mitch. Look at that spice. <laughs> It's good. It's so good. Mm -mm. No crab left behind, baby girl. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm gonna get the shrimp. Ooh, I'm getting full. <clears throat> Look at this huge shrimp, y'all. Uh, anyways, oh yeah, what kind of what kind of cuisine? What kind of food do I like? I was gonna, I was trying to say cuisine, but I do. I love, you know, I'm. I love Thai food. Thai food is delicious because I love the spice. Oh, um, Vietnamese food is good too. I love Vietnamese food. Oh yeah, pho, baby girl, pho, the best. If you haven't had pho, you should definitely try it. Have it. The beef, uh, it's so good. 
Sometimes I like the chicken fur too when you need something lighter. But oh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> you know it's good when somebody like mm-hmm. When when somebody don't even talk. But I have to talk because I'm here for y'all. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Um what kind of I haven't really tried tried uh Indian food. I tried it once. It was it was okay. I guess it was at a buffet, but I pref I want to do it like a, a homemade style. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Mm. You know you're eating good when you do the happy dance. Like every time, every food, you're just like, mm, every bite beat, every bite, every bite beat. Get it, get it, get it. Ooh, spice. What? It's a creeper. That thing, I'll probably put like 50, no, not really, not 50. Let's say 20 peppers up in this beat. 20 bird's eye chili peppers. Thai bird's eye chili peppers up in this. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I am getting very full. But you know what? Every time I keep looking down, these things keep looking at me. Look. Oh, yeah, I got to do a thumbnail like all you uh, YouTubers out there do. Is it, do y'all still do that thumbnails? Okay, here you go. This, this is the cutest thumbnail. Wait, let's do a cuter one. Mm hmm. You guys stay classy. I look a little crazy. <laughs> oh yeah oh girl so what else what else do you guys want to know you, you know what since this is my first video you guys could drop me some questions and on my second video I will answer them Period. I would answer that. <laughs> well, look. Oh, yeah. Give me some suggestions, like what I should eat, like what y'all want to see. Oh gosh, I don't want to get that in my. Eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. What should I do in my next video? What should I eat? What you guys want to know about me you know you guys probably don't know about me but on my facebook oh no my facebook I'm, i don't know about linking my facebook i'm gonna link my um instagram if y'all want to go follow me there it's gonna be good i have some content that i'm about to record during this crazy covid times and i'm pretty sure y'all don't want to miss out i'm pretty sure sure y'all don't i'm pretty interested and pretty single come get me Ooga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed my mukbang, please like and subscribe. And um, there is definitely more to come. When it comes to this um, What the Mukbang channel, uh, I'm gonna link my Instagram. Make sure you guys go follow me there. Uh, let, let me just say it, spell it out for you guys at Pawn, P A W N, 71787. No spaces. 71787 is my birth date, baby girl. I just turned 33. Happy birthday to me. No, all my cancers out there. Happy birthday. Um, yeah. Please enjoy my content. <laughs>